Remember Thursday? On Thursday, I was asking you guys to submit custom cards, not just last Thursday, but the week before. 500 submissions. Zent went in. Fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> let's do a scuffed intro. So 500 of you send in a card. We are going to look at the top 32 cards and let you guys vote for a top 8, top 4, top 2, and then the final winner of the custom card contest. 32 cards in the race, 4 per area, I guess. Let me just vote for the top 8 first. We also have top 8 for meme cards, but very important, you're going to see the following poll appear. There is one right here. You can then type in the number to vote for the card that is presented on each number on the field. Understood so far? Good to know. I need your votes for a bunch of things. A bunch of things. Don't vote yet, you will probably vote on something. First, we have Disobliging Corsair, Formula 43. If this win is summoned directly from your deck, summon two copies of it. Rush. Seems really good. Chromi, Timeline Repairer. Paladin card 8 mana 3 7. Better cry destroy all other minions that weren't on your board at the start of your last turn. Meaning, your opponent played something, well, it's gone. But he has to play around it. Ems, the Identity Seeker, 1 mana 1 2 neutral card. Epic. If your deck has no minions with the beast with the tribe, give them the beast tribe. Changes each turn. I assume the tribe changes. And lastly, Jin the Virtuoso, 7 mana 4 for neutral legendary. Better cry deal 4 damage to an enemy minion. Overkill deal 4 damage to a random enemy minion. Meaning, your opponent has a full board of 3 3s. You kill something while well, overkill happens, and again and again. Overkill, horrible keyword. Doesn't do anything. I will let you guys vote for like 30 seconds. Time starting now. Which cards would you like to win? Would you like to advance to the next round, to the top 8? So far, it looks like it's a tight race between Chromie and Jin. And nobody likes Krems. <laughs> nobody likes Ems, the Identity Seeker. He lost his identity like Spongebob in one episode. Meaning number 2, Chromie. Advances to the next round. Cards in folder number 2. We start with Winged Song Stealer. 6 mana, 4, 5. Priest card, Dragon, Epic. Silence a random minion in your opponent's hand. The idea is you can also silence better crime minions. Not just death battles, but any minion in your opponent's hand. When you drop it, nothing happens. For number 2, we have Booby Trap. 4 mana, 1, 3, neutral card. Stealth, the better cry. Discover a spell to arm this with. When an enemy attacks, cast it randomly and silence this. Attacking anything. Not this card, but attacking anything. Number 3, Lap Burglar. Great artwork. 5 mana, 4, 4, Rogue, Epic. Better cry, steal a card from your opponent's hand that didn't start in their deck. You can only use it as a tech card. Your opponent plays random stuff? Well, you get something from it. For number 3. Lastly, for number 4, leave me alone. The best pun of this custom card set. Formula Druid Tree and Spell. Deal 3 damage to all minions except Treants. Very similar. Very similar to Dragonfire Potion, but for Treants. And a really great name. You can vote in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Vote! Select the card you like the most. Select the winner, not the loser. Who do you want to advance? So far, it's a tight race between Song Stealer and Leave Me Alone. The best pun and the best dragon. 37 37. Time for a coin flip. Leave me alone is hats, the other one is tails. Well, looks like it's tails. Meaning, Winged Song Stealer goes into the next round. For set number three, we have Darion Morgray, one of the Paladin Horsemen. 6 mana, 5 mana, 6 6. Neutral Legendary. Lifesteal Rush, Death Rally. Equip a 4 to a Corrupted Ashbringer. The card is just a normal weapon, no effect. Sir Fox For card number one. Lifesteal Rush and Death Battle. You give your opponent a weapon, but you have Lifesteal Rush. Double Zilliac stats, basically. Number 2, Recruiting Master. 4 mana 2 for Paladin card. It's a girl. Better cry, summon two 117 recruits with Divine Shield. Maybe even Paladin, maybe pure Paladin support. You never know. Number 3, Batter Bot. 3 mana 3 3. Not a Mac tag, which might be a mistake. There might have been a trap that is missing. You never know. Better cry, remove one durability from your weapon to gain plus two plus two. Could see in a play in an aggressive deck, could see play in a mech deck. Maybe in Warrior. Oh well. And lastly, Fell Boar. Look at the artwork, it's sick. Or oh, sickening. 3 mana 3 3 rare. Warlock card. Rush. When you draw this card, add a copy of it to your hand. Like Firefly, you get a copy of it. Those are the four cards you can vote on. 
Select your favorite. Is it good? Is it bad? You don't have to vote for it. Select the cut you like the most. If it is too broken, maybe you don't want to vote for it. If it is too bad, maybe you want to vote for it. Your choice, your opinion. On saying the ball advances to round number two. Hell ball, good job, good design. Whoever made that, I forgot to write down your name. You did good. Proud of you. Really, really proud of you. We're starting with Arena Gladiator, 6 mana 4 4. I thought first this is a mean card, it isn't. Increase the board limit from 7 to 12. Instead of having only 7 minions, you can have 12. Which would completely destroy every single mobile game. Special Mix Warlock Spell. Epic. Take 4 damage, you discover cards from your deck instead of drawing in the next two turns. Like that one boss in Galakron's Awakening. You can just select which card you get instead of just drawing normally. Dark Deal. Their mana cost, same rarity, also Warlock Spell. It's got the top 2 cards of your opponent's deck. Or 4 of your deck is empty. The effect of 2 non Ferratus in one spell, or even four of them. Might be insane, might be really slow, because you pay three mana for it. And lastly, Captain Shivers, Ghost Pirate. Rogue, legendary. Six mana, five, four. Four, five. Better cry, discover a pirate from your deck. Whenever you summon a pirate, give it reborn. Whenever you summon a pirate, give it reborn. Is that too slow? Is that too aggressive? Well, we will find out when you guys are going to vote in a second on all those four cards. Select who you want to keep, not who you want to kick, as I learned. We have two epic Warlock spells. We have Arena Gladiator, we have one follower behind there, and we have Captain Shivers. Who do you want to have? Arena Gladiator advances to the next round. We only have four rounds left to vote on cards, then get to the final rounds. In bracket number five, we get Drenai Protector. Better cry, if you control at least two one attack minions, gain Divine Shield and Taunt. Next one, Spicked, Holy Dragon, 9 mana 8 8, start of game. Start of game effect. If all your minions are dragons, your dragons have Divine Shield. I forgot where I put the two shut up. All your dragons have Divine Shield, but you have to play solely dragons. Only dragons. And Paladin. Spreading Raccoon, what a lovely artwork. 5 mana 2 3 at the start and end of your turn. Transform the minions opposite sides. Like minions. Okay, minions. You know the spelling mistake. Opposite this into this minion. Meaning, this might be a spreading plaque in form of a minion. Might be a coronavirus as a raccoon. It transforms everything into itself. Might happen forever. It transforms everything. Or it just gets removed. And lastly, Chogal. Perfect life form. Doesn't look that perfect to me. But that's not the question. 3 minute 2 3. Discard Monarch support card. Better cry. Whenever you discard a card this turn, add a copy of it to your hand. The guard work. Warlock card. Two plus points for me. But it's not about my opinion yet, it's about your opinion. Because again, you will choose on which card you would like to have advance to the top 8. You can vote now. Do you like the Drenay? Do you like the Raccoon? Looks quite nice. Do you like this Holy Dragon Spict for Dragon Paladin? Do you like Chagala? Perfect light form. Life form. Life and light go hand in hand. Is number four. You seem to like Chogar the most, because the original Chogar kinda sucks. He is he is pretty bad. But this Cho, well, as it looks like, he not just won this poll, but he also won your heart. It's more than a third of you. Selected him. To advance to round number two. To set number six. Which brings us another Paladin card. Another Lightforge card. Lightforge Challenger, 5 mana 5 fight. Inspired by Mysterious Challenger. Better cry if your deck has only neutral cards. Sorry, no neutral cards, is what it says. Cast three random Paladin Secrets. You might say trash, yet he can still be quite powerful. And you can play two of them. Lady Justice, another Paladin card. 10 mana, 4-4. Four, four. Divine Shield. Destroy all minions without Divine Shield. A 5 mana card, but a 10 mana effect. A twisting nether effect, basically. You have Divine Shield support? Well. Your bot stays. The opponent doesn't, his bot is gone. Shadow Manipulator. 3 mana 3 2. Quite an interesting effect this time for a rogue epic. Silence a friendly stealth minion and give your hero stealth for one turn. The only way your hero can have stealth or be immune is by playing immune minions, obviously, or spells, and by playing Valera. This one would allow you to silence a stealth minion and gain the effect for your hero. Butterfly. Lastly, Skittles! Taste the rainbow. 
This is not a meme card. This belongs in here. Give each player a random card for each rarity. We have five rarities. If you include basic cards, each player gets five cards. Five random for each for five mana as an epic mage spell. Those are our four choices. Feel free to hate on those creations with your vote. Skittles! Who doesn't like Skittles? I like Skittles. They taste like sugar. Skittles ugly, but Skittles taste like rainbow. You want to taste the rainbow? Would you like to have Lady Justice? Or a Shadow Manipulator or a Lightforge Challenger? Be in the next round. Knock, knock, I see your vote. <laughs> 40% of you vote for Skittles? 40%? Well, you want Skittles, you get Skittles. 100 votes, 42% want Skittles. You get your Skittles. This is my personal favorite, which I probably shouldn't say before we vote. But here it is. Corpse Bomb. Form and a Warlock spell. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Destroy a minion. Do you 3 damage to all minions on the other side of the field? If I kill my own minion, I cast Hellfire. If I kill an enemy minion, I cast Hellfire on my own board. That's your card, Remo. You have a good taste. Treasure Collector. Three mana one for Epic Rogue. Better cry, discover a card from another class. Shuffle the other choices into your opponent's deck. You would like to mess up what he draws? You can. And you steal some stuff. And he has gold. Who doesn't like gold? Patchwork. Basically cast duel. But from your hand. Five mana, five, five. Neutral, legendary. Better cry, summon a mini from each player's hand. They fight. Probably until death. They attack each other. Like duel. But for hand cards. And lastly, Solemn Bomb, where my name originates from. The Work Hat. 4 mana 3 3 stuff. Cards you draw from your hero power cost health instead of mana. We have Blood Bloom and we have Chogar to transform spells cost health instead. And we just had a bug with Blood Bloom. We encountered a few minutes ago, like half an hour ago. That is number 4. And maybe you like the effect enough that it becomes your choice. Also, Beast Warlock becomes a thing. Second like last vote for our top 8. I think, yes. Let me hear what you think. I vote for Corpse Bomb. Do you prefer having another patchwork? Which we have as an artwork a few times. Do you like Treasure Collector? That my name originates from? Or Corpse Bomb? Okay. We have 70% for Corpse Bomb. Well. The would have guessed that the best designed card so far, which looks really sick and probably insanely good and golden, is your vote. I would have. Thank you very much for choosing my favorite card so far with the highest percentage. 66% and 62 votes. Well, the last four cards. A really evil looking demon. A 2 mana 4 for Demon of Pain. Better cry. Deals 4 damage to a hero death battle. Deal 4 damage to a hero. You take 8 damage, but you get a 2 mana 4 4. You basically get Miller's Mana Storm and Evil. Next, Lady Liadrin, Crusader. 7 mana 6 7 Legendary Paladin card. Taunt Divine Shield, Better Cry. If your deck has no neutral cards, give your minions but Divine Shield. Similar to the Dragon from earlier, but only for cards on your field. Shadow Priest Alistair. Interesting artwork, screenshot from Water Walker. 5 mana 2 3. For every damage you dealt with your hero power, it's a Priest Legendary. Deal 1 damage to the enemy hero. If you like Shadow Priest, well, he's your go-to guy. Lastly, Lord Tyrosis. 7 mana 5 have Divine Shield Better Cry. If your deck has no neutral cards, fill your hand with Argent cards. To refresh your mind on Argent cards, you have Argent Protector, Argent Commander, Argent Watchman, Argent something. Basically cards that have Divine Shield and have Rush Charge or something along those lines. You can select who wins the very last round. To make our top 8. Is it a demon? That looks really creepy. But it's quite powerful. Liadrin. Doing your duty. A Shadow Priest support card. A lot of roses. You have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And you have one last chance to vote. For top 8. The card is disgusting? I oh, know. That would be pretty cool. Do you want Alistair? Do you want Demon of Pain? Do you want Liadrin? Do you want Herosis? When do I stop? It's 36 to 35. I can't stop this now. We have Alistair, we have Crusader. Whoever gets to 37 first. We have one each. Oh. Barely. Barely. 
you want Shadow Priest Alistair to exist. And well, if you like Priest that much, he advances. Which means our final top 8 consists of Chromie, Winged Songstealer, we get Felbor, we get Special Mix, we get Shogal, we get Taste the Rainbow, Corpse Bond, and we have Shadow Priest Alistair. We have 4 Warlock cards, don't we? We have 4 of them. Well, it's time to vote again. Would you rather have Chromie advance to the very next round to the top 4? Refresh your mind. 8 mana 3 7. Better quite destroy all your minions. All other minions, sorry. The variant on your board, the last turn. On the board. I can't read anymore, but you can read the card yourself. You have eyes. Lastly, Wing Song Sealer. 6 mana 4 5 Dragon. Sends a random minion in your opponent's hand. Here's a better credit card. Well, it's silenced. Doesn't do anything. Here's a 1 1 minion without a fact. It's silenced. Something is silenced. And it might be this card. You can vote on who you would like to have in the top 4. Now, one for Chromie, two for Song Stealer. This time we don't have numbers, we just have words. So I hope the poll is not too confusing. Also, let me move that up. You do like the dragon more than Chromie. Okay, if you don't like gnomes, sure. It's more. To be fair, the design of Chromie. Hmm. Hard to understand. Silencing something? Well, silence is powerful. Alright, no questions asked. Song Stealer wins. With a majority of 60 something percent of you voting for it. You can vote. Who wins this? No. Rather more spells, rather more minions. Keep in mind, Zulok, Zubalok is a thing. Special mix, maybe in a control deck, maybe in a slow deck. Would you rather see what you might get and get disappointed because you didn't draw it? Would you rather get a copy of a Felball to your hand? One is evil, one is an evil mix. One is special, one is a boar. Special mix is... It looks good, yeah. So that's Felball. Ah. Oh. Looks like a 60-40, maybe 55-45 split on that. We vote until 100 votes came in. Seven more of you can vote. And you can pull this entire thing not around because Special Mix has the majority of you. 53 already. Selected Special Mix. To advance. Making Special Mix. Right here. Our winner. For this round. Who will make it to the quarterfinals? You can select. Quarterfinals? Semifinals? Semifinals. We are in the quarterfinals. Who will make it to the final things? Yeah. Vote! Also, in real life, don't forget to vote. You can vote in America, I think. Jogo or Skittles? Oh? Skittles should be one mana. One mana might be a little bit too much. This is a 50-50 split after 80 votes. So some of you like memes, other guys of you, maybe even ladies, you never know, like Chogal more. What I can tell so far is Skittles seems to lose quite a bit. Just a few people voted for Trigal instead of Skillets, but that makes all the difference in the entire world. We live in a de democratic system. I once learned in school. And because nobody likes democracy, Dogger wins. Rip for Skillets, Knockdog. I am sorry. But Skillets did not make it. Last round of the semifinals. We have Corpse Bomb. Such a beautiful, beautiful card. Wonderful design. I don't want to influence you. Vote for that. I don't want to influence you. Vote for that. Destroy a minion. Do 3 damage to all minions on the other side of the field? Who would like to have a dead minion but get hellfired on his own side? Well, the player who plays this card. Or, Shadow Priest Alistair. What do you like more? Great design? Or great design? Because both cards are equally great. You can vote for who you like more. You want an Alistair? You want a Corpse Bomb? Well, if you would like to have Shadow Priest back in the game and deal a bunch of damage, you like Alistair. And he might like you as well, if you vote for him. Don't want to influence your opinion. You are free of your choice. Pops Bomb or Alistair. Here we go. I would pick Pot Solemn Staff because he influences me. <laughs> Sorry. Corpse Bomb or Alistair for Shadow Priest. To revive that. To make it an archetype. And so far, we we can agree. Alistair, it was nice to meet you. But you're dead. 
Quite literally, he, he is that. He, he's an undead, I assume. And he's also that. The bait. I feel so betrayed by Shadows, Dark Dog. All by the best artwork in this game. Good. Pop Swamp is so good. And you guys can agree on that. Almost 100 votes. 68%. One more, we had 69. Alistair, your gun, Corp Swamp, you advance. Meaning for top four, this is Alistair. Alistair. For top four, we have Winged Song Stealer sends a random minion in your opponent's hand. Special Mix, Warlock Spell. Take for damage, you discover cards from your deck instead of drawing in the next two turns. Shogal, another Warlock card. Better cry whenever you discard a card this turn, add a copy of it to your hand. And lastly, another Warlock card. Pop Spawn. You guys like Warlock cards. I like Warlock cards. Maybe that's because I mainly play Warlock. Anyways, those are our four choices. Let's have the first two. We have Song Stealer on the left, and we have Special Mix on the right. You can select, goes to the finals. Now. Song Stealer or Special Mix? Apparently you listened that we already have a bunch of Warlock cards, and you prefer to play a Song Stealer and have that introduced in Hearthstone. Well, it looks like the majority of you, two-thirds, can agree that dragons are quite great. And he is going to advance to the finals. Meaning, time to say goodbye for special mix. Very last time you are asked to vote. If you haven't voted yet, one or two, that's all you have to do. Type in one number. If you select a song stealer, number one wins or corp spot, as it looks like so far. You want to support your priest cards? Well, you can, by typing a one in chat. It's all final. I think we can fairly say that with 10 votes apart, Corpse Bomb is going to win the very first custom card contest by me that I made to ask you guys for what I have to say. Thank you very much. There's one last thing. While well, this is going to be number one, and number one and number two is going to get paid, and Shogal is in my heart forever, there's one last thing we can vote on. One very last thing. And that is meme cards. It's not a real vote, but I still have prepared top 8 meme cards. Because I thought it might be funny. We have the EU at 10 mana. Fill your board with copies of this minion. Death Rattle. Give your opponent a 0-1 Brexiter. And he's a pirate. Number 2, Coin Flipper Penguin. 50 mana, 1-1. Plus one less for each mana spent on cards with a random keyword. Better quite destroy a random hero. Do you like him? Do you like not like him? Well, why not? Armor, the Yeti Beast. Better cry. If you play the beast last turn, summon a Chilvent Yeti. Quite powerful. But it's just a Yeti. Or is it the best Yeti? Donald Trump, 5 mana 4 5. Better cry. If your deck is empty, summon 6 110 wards with taunt. That is a broken effect. That is twice the stats of Spreading Flag. And you fill your entire board. Awkward Trench Coat. 5 mana. Discard the top 3 minions from your deck. Summon a suspicious figure. With their combined attack and health. You make a giant minion for 5 mana. But he is no effect. Justice Hammer. 3 mana 1-1 one, one weapon. Better cry. If your opponent used 10 emotes. Do you 10 damage to his hero? Justice to people who spam emotes. K Kona Brother, 10 mana hero card. The Americans have plus 3 attack, equip a 5 2 gun. <laughs> I laughed about this 4 times. Laxi, that's your card, I know that. And lastly, consume Vargeth. If your opponent controls an Archmage Vargeth, kill him and win. Well, we are going to vote 3 times on those cards to see which meme reigns supreme. We have Donald Trump, we have Amal, we have Coin Flipper, we have the EU. Again, here's 1, 2, 3, and 4. You can vote on your favorite meme. The best flavor of Skittles? The red one, I guess. I had them like once. Which meme advances to the final meme round of memes? With a clear winner? Coin Flipper makes it to the next round. Makes me wonder. Out of the next four. I just make it top two to make it easier. Penguin won the first. Who is going to win the second? We have give you Americans plus three attack. We have 
We are 10 damage to people who emote. We have Consume Vargeth because the card is horrible. And we have an Awkward Trench card. Consuming Vargeth seems really, really, really favorable in this vote. We got the Blasted Tower, more like free win for us if we face a Vargeth ever again. Which means, 80 of you voted, and 46 of you think Vargeth should be consumed, and we win again. You will have the choice between a 50 mana Snowfever Penguin, who wins at the game, and Consume Vargeth, who wins at the game. You have a minute to vote, select your favorite meme. Keep in mind whoever wins this, wins forever. Because they will get a trophy made up in my mind that only I can see. But it will be here. Who would you like to have a trophy? Consume Vargeth or Snowflipper? In select. You can play Confipper's Penguin on turn 28 and destroy a random hero. And if you have Bran, you can die both. And to stop it here at 69%, Coin Flipper wins the meme. Vote to get it to 60%. Apparently we didn't. At 69% we have our winner for the best designed meme card. To be fair, Consume Vargeth is a great idea, but the ultimate meme has to be him, which makes him our finalist, as well as Song Stealer and Corpse Bomb. Those are our top three for the very first custom card contest. Thank you to you guys who have voted. The ones who didn't tell me, I have the 1, 2, 3, 4 still on. And for submitting cards. 500 of you. It's a lot. Thank you very much. If you won this, um, reach out to me because I didn't write down who made which card. I might take it out and look at all the cards again to find out who made which card. But whoever won, please DM me. <laughs> I kind of forgot to save the names. Well, I will find that out. Thank you very much.